I'm Fritz Nelson with Information Week here at Interop 2012 in Las Vegas, and I am with Paul Hooper. He's the Vice President of Marketing for Gigamon, and uh, Gigamon has been in the traffic capture business for quite a while, is that right? We've been in the traffic visibility market okay. for quite a while. So we, we focused around helping customers identify critical traffic from across their network and making sure that traffic gets to whatever tool is appropriate, whether it's monitoring, whether it's management, analysis, or security tools across their environment. Okay, and, and we have a little diagram here. How does that manifest? What kind of products do you have? Is uh, hardware? Based products? Yeah, so certainly we have a range of hardware based products, but we've announced in the last couple of days here a software based component as well that we can kind of go through. Okay, why don't you take us through uh, the fabric here? So, so we have the, the core design characteristic of the Gigamon portfolio is, is a visibility fabric. That, that is a, a piece of software truly that can exist as just one device or exist across multiple devices, but it's constructed of a variety of HD 8, HD4s or G-series devices, we can see those later, but a range of hardware that allows you to connect a variety of tools. Wherever you want to connect the tools, you connect the tools, and you connect any form of traffic into any point on the fabric. Okay, and so the new thing is software. What are we managing now? So the new thing is we're addressing a problem that customers are facing. The problem as customers are moving into the virtual world, they're putting more and more virtual machines out there. And unfortunately, some traffic only stays at the hypervisor. It never actually gets into the physical world. So when traffic may be traversing two virtual machines, it may never actually leave that machine, and therefore, these tools may never see it. So we address that problem with a software-based component that sits inside the physical server. It's a virtual machine, runs inside, and it's able to capture traffic between or across virtual machines as the customer needs. Okay, now we're going to see a demo of that in a minute, but what happens when uh, virtual machines change? That's a great question. So, it, one of the huge advantages of virtualization is flexibility. So you're able to take virtual machines and move them around. A physical machine never moves, but virtual machines may move around. Well, one of the things we've developed is an integration with the management platform. So as you're moving virtual machines around, the, the, the virtual maps, as we call them, go with those virtual machines as they move. And so that integration allows for the fabric to understand what is going on, what's moving, and react to those moves. Okay, and that supports anybody's virtual environment or just VMware's or? In first release, it's just VMware, okay. clearly the market leader. But we're starting to roll it, we're looking at additional integration, we're going to bring out other technologies, but VMware is the first release, and that release happens later on this year. Okay. We're going to take a quick look at uh, how this works. That sounds great. All right, these things are so uh, graphically intuitive here. Show me how you would set this up. So we're going to walk through a couple of very simple steps. Firstly, we look at the physical world, and we see we've got two. Just in this example, we have two physical servers. And then we go and look at the virtual life. And on those two physical servers, you've got multiple virtual machines running. So what we want to do is we want to look at traffic from one machine to another machine. So let's go in and create what we call a VMAP. And from here, you then see a list of all the virtual machines, and then you can define what's the name of the map. And now I'm going to go and take and identify a couple of the machines where the traffic's coming from, and a couple of the machines where the traffic's going to. So I drag them down, I go from the client to the server. I've now said what it's coming from and where it's going to. And, and underneath this are actual physical machines. It's just hiding all that complexity. Well, it's actually a piece of software. All of this, we're just talk this is software talking to software, but it's going to pull it out into a machine at the end of that equation. That's exactly right. So we move to the next phase. The next phase says, right, I know where I'm going from and to. Now I need to know what. So is it email? Am I looking at FTP? Am I looking at HTTP? Am I looking at... I can define what application I may be looking for. So this, let's just say web. Let's just go with web in this case. So we're looking at all HTTP traffic. We go to the next screen. And now I said now I know where I'm going from. I know where I'm going to. And I know what. Now I want to define where I want to send that traffic out to the physical machine. So now I send the traffic out of the virtual world into the physical world. Here's the virtual world. And I say next. That's the, that's the map I've built, and now I'm going to commit that to the system, and the system then immediately sends that down, configures the virtual machine, and immediately, bam, up comes the traffic. So it started to see capture the traffic. So the traffic, even though it's just inside one physical machine, I've pulled it out and put it out to a physical test environment to be able to go and see the specific traffic. Great. Now, 
one last question on this then is, you know, a lot of what people use this for is to troubleshoot or to right. fine tune performance. So since we're dealing in the virtual world, how do I get to an actual, well, the, the problem might be between this machine and that machine. That's right. So we've got another example that we can kind of show how we help customers say, I know what it is, I can see a problem, but I'm not quite sure where it is, help me find it. We can show you that demonstration. All right, let's go and take a look. That'd be great. All right, so we've got a problem. Uh, maybe somebody's managing a huge cloud environment. How do we get to the nut of the problem? Where, what machine is causing it? What network card is causing it? Whatever. You got it. So, great question. And 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 you know, if you think the, the challenges those cloud providers have, they have thousands of customers. Each customer running ten different applications. And one customer says, you know, customer number seven, I've got email problems. Oh God, right? And so, how do I find that quickly? So we've got a very simplistic demo here that shows you how the fabric can become living. That that fabric I spoke about becomes living. Here's a couple of customers. So customer one has got a problem or customer two's got a problem. Clearly you can have thousands on this list, but we've made it simple. So in this scenario, if you click on customer one, it will allow, it'll go and configure the fabric automatically to say wherever customer one traffic is going, catch it and send it to the tool. So my knock is going to be sitting there and looking at the tools and the screens and seeing the traffic from customer one. But then it's customer two, click, you're able to configure customer true and the tools will now point to customer two rather than point to customer one. This is the example we've got here. Great, and so over here is... These, these are just tools that are, these are example tools that you may have inside of right. your knock. You can have a variety of them, but this is just looking at your network at a point in time and you can reconfigure it and reprofile the traffic that that tool sees based on just one click. The fabric goes and finds it for you. Great, Paul, thank you so much. Thank you, it's a pleasure.